Oh, okay, I'm going to ask something. I'm not sure for sure, but hey, can you tell me the lore of Crash? <laughs> Please be advised, the following presentation is not intended for minors. Okay, that one's going nowhere. I make the slightest mistake and I have to start over and it's like really starting to bug me. Oh, William P, you son of a bitch. All right, let's try. <laughs> William P, what? O okay, so William P... I, I believe I was talking to you about this guy in private. This is the dude who uses the chicken. Uh, so, like, the the chicken character in this game, he isn't actually driving. He's just in the car, and the car drives itself. And it makes it oh, feel yeah. like he's just insulting you. William P. is the best driver in Beanox. So all of his times are fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Bruno would love to see Megamix. What, oh, yeah. what is Megamix? Okay, Megamix is the character I was telling you about before. Uh, all those characters are fused together. Look at this absolute mad lad. Oh my god. Someone put this guy out of his misery, holy shit. <laughs> He's fucking massive. Uh, where's the cart that I use for him? Yeah, the Dusty Rider. He, he, that is the second biggest character I have seen in the game. This, this is, is... This is very, like... Warhammer 40k orc coded. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, let's what? go play on the track that came with that. Oh, shocker! William P has the fucking time for this track too. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! Okay, so this is what I was uh, talking about before, where like it's an alternate universe where like all the ocean was uh, dried up. Yeah, look at this shit. Oh, it's literally Mad Max. It is literally Mad Max, yes. Did he plan to to burn down the oceans? <laughs> I <laughs> did don't that know, happen? but it is like very clearly implied in this universe. Uh, it's like, man, I love setting shit on fire. You know what puts it out? Water. Let me fix that. Oh, how did I lose my reserves there? Oh, but my favorite part of the track is this bit here. Because uh, if you've been playing CTR as long as I have, it is this part is very clearly the uh, remnants of the track Ruse Tubes. So like what? a track. Okay, so the second track in the game, Ruse Tubes, it's all like underwater. You're like in an underwater fucking like biodome kind of thing. But like, uh huh. Yeah, when uh, when you get to like the end. Uh, of that bit, you notice that you're jumping down like the same um, like big hump that is like near the like last third of the track. Oh, oh, this is the same track, but like in the bad future. Yeah, same track. Oh, different, like oh, same that's track, why you start with that, like that like clear tube at the beginning. That's why you start with it. Yeah, and then there's like broken open. There's rocks. There's like fuel landmines and shit that I keep hitting. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they are literally rainbow colored. You could not have any more warning that they were coming. Yeah, I know. But yeah, like, when we say Beanox cooked for this game, they fucking cooked. Yeah, no. Dude, the more you tell me about this game, the more I respect the devs. Because, like, holy shit. I believe this track was received so well by the community, its universe got made into its own level team in Crash 4. Yeah, it straight nope. up did. Okay, wait, hold on. So, remind me real quick. This is it. Uh, this bad future was made for the game, right? Yes. Like, Crash Team Racing is the this first is, appearance yeah, of... This is the first appearance of, like, this alternate universe where uh, Megamix won. Bruh. He is literally a spin-off villain that yeah. just got so popular, he got everything. Like, oh, the reason why he's Lordy so popular, Lord. like, also, like, outside of, you know, just how well-designed this is, is like how well designed Mega Mix is as a character, because like if you see the original sprite of Mega Mix, he looks like dog shit. Is like the quickest slap, like slap dash job, uh, you'll ever see for like a sprite, and like they translated that so it looks grotesque and fucked, but also badass and awesome at the same time. It's like oh, Mega Mix looks so fucking cool. Yeah, they, they they put, like, this cyberpunk villain's head on top of a fucking wrestling tiger. Mm. Like, my going? favorite uh, little touch uh, when it comes to Megamix is, like, when he's, uh, when you, like, jump off of a uh, high enough uh, ramp, 
the animation for it is him pushing the cart off of the ground with his right hand. Oh yeah! Like, oh yeah! Dude, you can actually see that he's just like punching the ground. Oh, dude, is that yours? Brute. Like that shit's fucking rad. And and one of the three people that makes him was like a super wimp, right? Yeah, yeah. Like one of them is like a. Uh... Yeah, one of them's a scientist that is like completely like genetically fucked up. Oh, uh, okay. I'm going to ask something. I'm not sure if I should, but hey, can you tell me the lore of Crash? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay, so it's not, it's not nearly as deep as you think it is. No, like, I know it isn't, yes. but it always turns into something Like, easy. especially considering, like, how I've been talking about it. Okay, so, uh, the main bad guy, Neocortex, he's a, uh, he's just, like, a generic villain. Like, he is, okay. like, evil scientist. Like, you think he's a whole bunch of things, but then, like, later on you find out it's, like, actually another doctor, uh, that actually helped him. Uh, he's supposed to be, like, a geneticist? I believe okay. it was. Uh, he's the one that made Crash. He's been, like, splicing, like, DNA between, like, animals and, uh, like, humans and shit this whole time. Like, Wait, Crash? Yeah. Crash isn't a naturally occurring, like, thing? No, he, he's a, he's, he's straight up a mutant. He is half bandicoot, half human. What the fuck is a Bandicoot? I thought that was his surname. Uh, Bandicoot is a Australian marsupial. Oh my god, he's Australian, god damn it. This is why I like it so much. God damn it! <laughs> hey, I'm more of a Spyro guy than a Crash guy, to be honest. I just really like his card racer. Um, <laughs> so, Crash was, uh, yeah, uh, genetically engineered by Cortex to be, okay. like, to be the leader of all of his, like, uh, genetic uh, creations to like start a war in shit something like that and then um yeah his experiments and stuff didn't go well uh crash broke out and just started living a peaceful life <laughs> like yeah, just that's started being wacky thing. and like <laughs> and doing like the, random shit yeah the only reason why like crash like goes back to fight cortex to stop him from you know being himself is uh in the in the first game, Crash had a girlfriend, and it is like, God, it is so 90s. <laughs> it, is, it is so goddamn 90s. It is like the uh, the Donkey Kong to uh, Candy Kong kind of thing. So, like, we have Are Crash Are you a bad here. enough dude to rescue your girl and make <laughs> it out alive? Yeah, like, so we have Crash here, just like, this fucking loser dork looking guy here that's like all, like, badly proportioned and shit. Uh, then we have, <laughs> then we have his girlfriend, Torna. It was just, just a fairy. It's <laughs> just an anthro fairy girl. <laughs> like, good proportions and shit. Like, you can tell yeah. that. How did you pull that, my man? How yeah, the fuck? exactly. Uh, like, oh. the, the funniest thing, though, like, the first game, they had to, uh, like, completely, like, remove Torna afterwards because she was too buxom, too voluptuous. <laughs> there ain't no way. There ain't no way. This Torna, is the same word. Like, Torna bruh. as a character didn't show up again until the DS era with Crash Boom Bang. Who I am not lying. did that? Because they left so much money on the table. Yeah, I know. So they replaced it with Crash's sister, Coco. She, that is also a furry. Mm. But it's smaller and not sexualized, so it's okay. Uh, oh, oh, she's she's kind of like the um, like the sidekick little sister in Western cartoons. Mm, There's kinda. a whole bunch of like annoying shit, like well, Jade from Direction Adventures. Not really. Coco is okay. Like Crash is just kind of an idiot. He, he just does his own thing. Uh, He's like, just like me for real. Yeah, he is like very like head empty, no thoughts. Uh, Coco's the complete opposite. She's actually like very technologically uh, inclined. Like, did, she respond, did she go to college? She, like, we don't know about the college thing, but she's always on her laptop, like, tinkering with shit. Uh, Coco is the penny to inspect the gadget. Yeah, kind of. <clears throat> what's what's really fucking me up about all of this is that just, like, why the fuck did Neocortex just make all the these furries? <laughs> like, did he, he kept failing. <laughs> yeah, like, he was, like he was supposed to, like, make an army of, like, a whole bunch of, like, genetically uh, engineered animals and shit. Like, you have a uh, tiny tiger here, which is just a tiger that is fucking buff. 
uh, he started fusing animals together, like Dingo Dial, who was half does... Dingo, half Crocodile, and he's a pyromaniac. That does not look like a tiger at all. Oh my god, what the hell is that? <laughs> Uh, I hate that. You have Rimuru. Also, Dingo and Crocodiles, more Austra is, yeah. is This wait, is Australian. Is this studio from Australia? No, they're not. <laughs> Naughty Dog was not from Australia. Oh. They just really liked Australian oh. things. Okay, Ripperoo. Yeah, is yeah that, Ripperoo. This that's is a kangaroo, just, I yeah, think? it's just a kangaroo. I don't know what they did, but whatever they did, it turned him insane because he's in a straight jacket. Um, they turned a Potteroo, whatever the fuck a Potteroo is. Uh, turn it into a uh, mafia mob boss, dude. Neil Corbett is kind of fucking insane. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I know. Like, yeah, he it, is it, uh, real rich, but it's like this dude. <laughs> he was. Well, so, oh. <laughs> some of my favorites, like aesthetically, would have to be the Komodo brothers because, like, they're just giant lizards that look like Mongolian Khans. Yeah, Koala Kong is unfortunately forgotten, but look what they did to koalas, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Somehow no, bigger than Tiny Tiger, holy shit. <laughs> dude, that, that thing is bigger than Megamix. Like, yeah, this dude is huge. That dude is just yoked. Oh, uh, no, you, the... you know what? You know what? Yeah. At first, oh my god, he's flexing. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, I gotta play him. <laughs> Alright, we, we play as uh, Koala Kong next. Alright. I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw the Koala Kong models, like, that is disgusting. Get it out of my face. I, I have no, <laughs> you know. I have come around. Do you think is Natty attainable? <laughs> no, no steroids, no juice, no juice. Uh, don't know about that. Granted, uh, he does skip leg day. Man, who needs legs when you got this? When you got these guns over there? Oh my god, he's just spilling out of his fucking cart. Holy shit! New cartics, why? <laughs> why the fuck? God, I'm only just realizing I forgot to turn on the uh, ghost time. God damn it. <laughs> God every damn it. Time. I do this every, every time. time. Every, yep. I was yapping too much. You asked me about uh, Crash Lore and I started yapping. Yeah, uh, I think you just told me about the first game. And Crash yeah, that was, just the, like... that was just the first game, too. Yeah. Oh, boy. What was, like, the big thing of the first game? Like, Neo Carter could just abducted. Who was Crash's boyfriend? Uh, girlfriend? Uh, Tana. So she's just, uh... <laughs> yeah, she is literally the Candy Kong of this franchise. Was there a reason for that? Or did you just like, you, come here? Just... Uh, uh, so Crash, uh, after, like, being experimented on, like, escaped. So Cortex is like, well, he's gone. Guess I gotta go with plan B. Guess I gotta go with the girl to lead my army. This guy is just fucking nuts. Yeah, he's uh, goddamn crazy. Just like absolutely fucking unhinged. It's the fact that, you know, he just looked at this and like, yes, this is how I'm gonna conquer the world. <laughs> I know, it's 90s as fuck, it's just, yeah. man. <laughs> it's, it's 90s as all hell. So what about Crash 2? Uh, Crash 2, the plot for Crash 2, like, it starts off with uh, like the introduction of Coco, like, well, I say introduction, like, she really wasn't, like, introduced at all, she's just there. <laughs> like, she, uh, she just starts off, it's like, Hey, Crash, my laptop's run out of battery, can you give me a new one? It's like, oh yeah, sure, uh, wanders off, uh, falls into some ruins, and, uh, the ruins oh. just happen to have, like, uh, like a projector in it, and, uh, it's projecting Cortex, it's like, Crash, I am a good guy no, uh, nah, I am a good guy now. Can you please collect these crystals for me so I can save the world? And you do so, and then you find out he's actually, like, building a space laser. No way! <laughs> no! He wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, sure. Also, sure. back to saying that, you didn't even tell me about the magical masks. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's because, like, I was gonna get into that, uh, with... With the lore of Crash 3! And I got crushed, goddammit. Okay, oh so... Boy. So Crash 1 and 2, uh, Crash gets accompanied by, like, this mystical, like, tiki mask called Aku Aku. Is not really explained, okay. like, at all. Like, in the oh, first he, two he's games. He's just there? He, he's just there. He's, <laughs> he's just there. It's, like, ancient tiki spirit that, like, uh, that Crash just happens to, like, let hang with him for some reason. But, um... They they go bowling a couple times a week. Yeah. 
Uh, but in Crash 3, it's when they actually, like, start talking about him and shit. Because, uh, after his defeat in Crash 2, um, Cortex, like, crashes into, like, some ancient Aztec ruins and unleashes, uh, Aku Aku's brother, Uka Uka. Very creative name. Oh, god damn it! Yeah. <laughs> Very creative name, it's just same name, but read backwards. Um, but yeah, he's like an evil counterpart. Apparently they're like ancient, like Aztec gods or some shit. Like Aku Aku represents like all good in the universe. While Uka Uka represents all evil and shit. And he was and he was just vibing with Crash, like just couch surfing there. Yeah. Hey man, don't you have like some cosmic balance shit to my thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like Cortex unknowingly unleashes him. And yeah, like ends up uh, teaming up with uh, Uka Uka to once again take over the world because nineties platformer. But uh, in doing so, like he also realizes, like, man, Cortex, you kind of fucking suck. <laughs> I I'm gonna need like You're better. Crash. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need like better henchmen than you. So I brought along this guy, and that's where Entropy comes along, and the whole game becomes like a time traveling, like, uh, platforming romp. That's where like a lot of the like ancient Egyptian levels and stuff come in. Wait, hold on. Aquaku, like he he just produced Entropy. Uh, just no, like Uka, Uka, the bad one. Uh, yes, yeah, right. Yeah. I I don't think he created him. He just found him somewhere i don't know <laughs> the fuck you, mean? you just it, found him like it's it's 90s games like you just like usually like in a cutscene for a 90s game it's like but i have this guy and he just walks in like from off screen it's like haha i am also new bad guy now fear me okay you know what fair <laughs> i just like lots the way of video games from like the, yeah lots of video him. games from the 90s are not deep I know that, I know, it's just, it, it's been a while. Maybe <laughs> I'm expecting too much of, yeah. of shit that I shouldn't. <laughs> Out of all the, uh, like, collective lore for uh, Crash Bandicoot, I think, like, Crash Team Racing might be my favorite. Just because, like, just because, like, the, uh, the background knowledge that, like, Naughty Dog's like, okay, this is gonna be our last Crash game. We're sick of dealing with, uh, Universal and, like, their bullshit, so we're gonna make this one game. Then we're gonna fuck off and make our own thing. So let's try and ruin the franchise. Let's introduce aliens. <laughs> and they just ended up saving it, baby. Yeah, people love the aliens so much. They're like, hey, how come uh, uh, Oxide isn't in any of these future games? They're like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like the the plot of um, uh, Crash Team Racing is an alien who is like the fastest racer in the galaxy. Nitrous Oxide shows up to Earth and is like, Hey, how about we have a competition? If you guys can beat me, I'll just like go on my merry way. If I beat you, I'm gonna beat- I'm gonna blow up the entire planet and turn this into a galactic parking lot. That's literally the plot. That is the most evil thing that I have ever heard. <laughs> and how do the alternate universes come into play with this? Is it going so fast that it breaks the space-time continuum? <laughs> Uh, we don't actually know when it comes to, like, alternate universe stuff. We only know, like, this universe. I like to imagine that Nitro's Oxide, he's, ju he's just going that fast. Yeah? Like, he's just that guy, he's just that good. Now that I think about it, okay, so we have been yapping for a while here. Did you actually manage to <laughs> win any of these trials? I have only beaten that one. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, Fun like fact. I said, these are really hard. On fact, Mega Mix and Mad Max skin racers also get access to Apo Apo, a Mad Max team oh, mask. Oh yeah, I forgot is about that. Yeah. So yeah, In the Apo Apo mask. Clash of the Titans. Yeah. What? Okay. So the Apo Apo mask is based on a uh, on a redesign of Aku Aku uh, from the yeah Crash of the Titans like series, which is one hell of a way to uh, introduce the very shitty Crash of the Titans. Uh, stuff into this game but yeah i yeah, said it not good i don't care how many fucking 15 year olds come at me with their hot takes those games were garbage i mean i do not know but all that i know is that i re-crash a bit titans and i just remember that one really bad movie yeah 
I don't know why they decided to do this, but like they turned like the regular like challenging uh, crash platforming game into like a very shitty beat em up. I mean, I guess Crash already did have action, but I I, I feel like that's a little bit out of theme. Yeah. Like, the most annoying thing is, like, you don't even start off with, like, his iconic spin attack. You have to level up to do so, and when you do, if you use it, he, he stuns himself and gets dizzy. Like, what's the fucking point? I get it, but why? Yeah, like, you've just made, like, the most iconic attack in the franchise fucking pointless. It's like, look, just because it can doesn't mean that oh, you Oh, hello. That was weird. <laughs> we had a weird uh, geometry and like physics uh, glitch there. I just slid up the uh, the pipe like it was nothing, and that just cost me the goddamn race. You son of a bitch! I was so close. Damn it! I put duty for you. Oh, that was so. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. <laughs> I was so oh, close. he was like right there. I was. Is that still not good enough? Oh, no, I was still too slow by, like, a fraction of a second. Oh, lordy lord. Crash Nitro Kart happened to introduce a new alien villain voiced by none other than Steve fucking Bloom. Sure Ooh. did! <laughs> it sure Do did. Hell. Okay, so, uh, Crash Nitro Kart has a very similar, uh, kind of uh, story to Crash Team Racing because like how complex can you make a uh, story for a kart racer basically <laughs> um, uh, Crash yeah Crash and the gang plus Cortex and the gang uh, they all get uh, abducted by Emperor Velo the 27th uh, to participate in a racing tournament and like, Wait, his when you say Emperor is it N dot Peror? Emperor, as in the ruler of the galaxy. No, 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 no! God damn it! <laughs> they could still have the pun. I hate it. Nah. Like, it could be N dot Peter the Sep. The yeah, yeah, that that would have been kind of funny. But nah, that plot is like participate in my tournament and like beat all my best drivers, and I'll spare your planet. If not, I'm just gonna blow it up. It's like literally the same plot. I like the the one with the just crazy ass racer a little bit more not gonna <laughs> lie well luckily he is actually one of the uh, base characters in uh, crash nitro Kart as well you he can't... just came back yeah he just came back as like part of the base roster and not a boss <laughs> you son of a it's like nitro Zoxide. why have you returned i really like racing baby oh you're yeah, pretty you're much. not here to help us save the earth nah fuck her <laughs> yeah he's part of the uh uh, one, yeah, one of the antagonist teams, because, like, uh, Nitro Kart's main, uh, gimmick was you actually, like, uh, participated in teams. So you had, like, Team Bandicoot, which had Crash, Coco, and Crunch, which is, uh, essentially, like, Crash's, um, Shadow the Hedgehog, pretty much, that was introduced uh, so, okay. uh, in Wrath of Cortex. Okay, I just googled a Bandicoot. That, this is a mouse. Yeah, they look like tiny mice. They are very cute. <laughs> there is, it's like... Crash does not look that, like that at all. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm calling bullshit. Uh, what <laughs> okay, was I saying? One. Yeah, uh... So yeah, you had Team Bandicoot, which is uh, Crash, Coco, and Crunch, which Crunch is like... Uh, was the major villain of the previous game, which is essentially the original Crash 4, uh, which is uh, Crash Wrath of the Cortex. Which is, yeah, Crunch was just, like, big, muscly dude, uh, with a robot arm. And, um, god, who was he voiced by? Uh, Kevin Michael Richardson. Uh, have you ever watched, uh, Lilo and Stitch? Uh, like, the movie? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, the movie. Uh, he was the voice of Captain Gunter, the giant, like, two-legged whale dude that was on the hunt for Stitch. Man, you know what? I always thought that that dude had such the sickest design. Yeah, he, looked he was so pretty, cool. He was cool. Yeah, that was Team Bandicoot. Then we had Team Cortex, which was like Cortex, Ancient, and uh, Tiny Tiger. Then you had like the evil teams, which you couldn't play as in adventure mode, but uh, you know you could play in like versus mode. Just Team Oxide. So you had uh, 
you know, Nitrous Oxide as the leader, then you also got to play as, like, his minions that were introduced in that game, Zim and Zam, which had, like, literal jobbers, like, literal nobodies. Never showed up again until this game, <laughs> hilariously enough. And the other team was uh, Team Entrance, which was uh, uh, Entrance, which was a villain that uh, first was shown up on uh, one of the Game Boy Advance games. He's like an egg with like hypnotism abilities. Dude, and... Crash was like, it's expansive. Yeah. So yeah, uh, he was the leader of the group and the other characters were like characters that uh, got brainwashed and like hypnotized. So one of them was I Dingo see. Dial, and the other one was Polo, which is like the little poly, uh, polar bear that uh, uh, Crash rides around on sometimes. Oh, Yeah. Uh, each, each team also had like one unlockable character, and fun fact, originally, uh, Entrance's like uh, unlockable character for his team was supposed to be Spyro. But they had to change it last minute for reasons. Reasons. Don't worry about it. Yeah, just, it's kind of just, annoying. Just let it happen. The hilarious thing, though, the GBA version actually still has that. So, the GBA version you can play as Spyro, but you can't on the console versions. <laughs> is Nitrous Oxide uh, like a selectable character here? He is. Like, in you, fact, if you, you, <laughs> in fact, if you're like me, actually like pre-ordered the uh, like deluxe edition, you unlocked him and he's caught immediately. Oh my Which... God! Your ghost is also flexing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like it, w what I did when uh, the game like initially like launched, like literally the midnight, like when it launched, I went to go uh, like test out the game just a little bit uh, online just to see how that is like, and I was just styling on dudes as a boss character, and it felt really good. <laughs> it's like I knew all the shortcuts and shit for like every track. Uh, that was included in this game. Like, I've known them for like 20 plus years, and like clearly, like the rest of like people who have never played since they were kids, <laughs> just like oh my god, fucking destroying people. This is like the equivalent of people just buying a fighting game for the first time, and then people that have been training, like playing the fucking series for years, just like <laughs> welcome to the community, boy. Ah, uh, pretty just much. Hit yeah. Perfect. Hey Jake, watch out. There's a there's a big tube about to squash you. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Just trying to time that is really annoying because the timing is very precise. It's like if you're the slightest bit too slow, you will get crushed by it. I mean, at least doing like pretty good pace. Yeah, honestly, like you are doing really good on on this strike. I noticed that you're actually staying really close to the ghosts. Mm. Like this is this is honestly pretty intense. There we go, made it. Okay, but can you make it? I think you're doing. It so all close. depends on how kind to me the physics engine is. You can't always predict that. Yeah. Especially like with that uh, big shortcut jump that I have to do here. Because they had to fuck around with the physics engine just to make this jump work. What do you mean? Uh, when the- Fuck! I got crushed. Damn it. <laughs> God ah! damn it. So when the game originally came out, that jump, uh, because of like the redone physics in this game, uh, that jump was nearly impossible to do. So they had to constantly tinker around with it until they like just until they decided that like when you get in a certain uh, distance to that jump, uh, the physics engine actually changes its properties to make you like like actually get that jump. It is really hard not to. Uh, yeah, it's really hard not to actually get it now, but like in doing so, the uh, like the quick switch uh, of uh, physics properties does kind of like freak the game out a little bit. So You're sometimes engineering like engineering. Yeah. So sometimes uh, like the jump will be kind to you and will like launch you and like keep your momentum like that a little bit. But like sometimes you'll just go straight up and lose all momentum. Oh, uh, I mean, it seems like you're getting it super consistently. Mm. And then there was Crash Tag Team Racing. We don't speak about that one much. <laughs> Why not? Okay, Crash Tag Team Racing was the first uh, kart racer that didn't work like uh, Crash Team Racing. 
it was uh, very different. It had its own like unique thing where like its main uh, its main gimmick was uh, you could actually fuse with other uh, other people's carts on the track and just turn into like a giant death machine. Oh, so like one person cool. would actually drive while another person would be on the back shooting on a turret. <laughs> that's kind of cool yeah it is kind of cool and to, then you realize when you do that you become so overpowered that like nothing can beat you so the best way to actually play that game is to immediately fuse the second you start finish oh. like almost finish the entire race and defuse this like just before you're about to um uh cross the finish line because when you defuse you get a massive boost uh boost your speed while the other person doesn't. Completely unbalanced is what yeah, I'm hearing. Yeah, incredibly unbalanced. But uh, oh, yeah, man. when it comes to the story on that, uh, yeah, the Crash and the gang were just randomly like driving around and being chased by like uh, Cortex engine and... Um, oh, right, yeah, Cortex's uh, niece that got introduced in Crash to Insanity. Um, oh. <laughs> little goth girl. Um... What is she called? Uh, Nina Cortex. Uh, the of first course. track, that, yeah, the first track we actually did was her track, actually. Yeah, so they were just like racing around and uh, like just throwing chickens at each other because chickens became a thing in Crash games. It's like a comic relief thing. I don't know. And then they just randomly stumble onto this dude's uh, racing themed theme park, and he's like, "Hey." Um, I really like you. I'm a huge fucking fanboy. I have all your games. That's literally a line <laughs> in the game. He literally says to Crash, I have all your games. He <laughs> he. Um, I, I, I kind of <laughs> like that. I kind of like that. Uh, but yeah, like shortly before he showed up, uh, oh no, the uh, uh, the entire uh, theme park is being sabotaged and uh, the gem I use as like a Iron Man fake heart thing is got uh, stolen. Uh, can, can you please race around the track and collect the stuff so I don't die, please? Thank you. <laughs> uh, I am literally about to perish. Please help me. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, the new oh. characters introduced in that game are weird. Like, that character uh, I was just talking about, the uh, owner of the place, Ebenezer von Klotsch, he is every German stereotype that ever existed. It yes. sounds like it. Every German stereotype, including Nazi stuff. <laughs> I was about to ask. Yes, I don't know why what? they made made him like insinuate that he was part of Nazi Germany. I don't know why. It's weird. What well, did he also not have like a sense of humor and spoke in a really angry tone? Uh, he did have a bit of a sense of humor. Can I? Hey! Got it that time. Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Alright, yeah, no, we got dude, two. You, guys, you guys are like oh, side shit. by side. Holy crap. Oh, in two hours, I beat two. <laughs> oh, hey, man. God. We, we take progress where we can find uh, it. Uh, but yeah, uh, as I was saying, the other, uh, the other new character that was uh, introduced uh, in that game was... Uh, Pasadena Opossum, she's a very, like, she's like a Southern Bell, uh, you know, like, uh, pickup truck racer, essentially, who has the I kinda biggest like that. crush on Crash. She has the biggest Look. crush on Crash. A lot of her voice lines allude to her wanting to fuck him. Like, that's not me just- How does he keep- How like, does he keep getting away with I, it? I don't know. But, like, that's not just me, uh, like- you know, like exaggerating. Is literal lines about, you know, taking a roll in the hay and shit like that. Like, literally wanted to fuck his brains out. <laughs> it should have been me, not him. It should have been me. Fuck. <laughs> hey, don't forget uh, chicken stew. Oh, yeah. Uh, they had a. Uh, where are they? So, yeah, they had uh, two little um, like commentator characters that you can actually play as in this. Yeah, chick and stew. Like, the pun is chicken stew. Like, yeah, yeah, uh, that's my thing. <laughs> like, these, these guys are fun. Weirdly enough, though, uh, Stu in this game is voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, 
who, like I said before, was the original voice actor of Crunch. For some reason, he doesn't reprise his role as Crunch in this game. But he plays Stu. Oh my god! This is the first time that I'm actually paying attention to, like, seeing Crunch? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, Crash, my guy, he, he's styling on you. Yeah, Crunch is cool. Anyway, uh, we are, yeah, we just hit, like, 11 o'clock, so this is where we're, uh, we gotta end things, but... I have one last story about this game before we finish off. So, the community really love this game. I, I think I've mentioned that like a million times, right? Uh, there's, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. a great game made by developers who cared, it seems, so... There is one guy who was very notorious for data mining this game every single time a uh, new season came out. Because whenever a new season came out, they already had the data for all the new stuff that was coming in the next season. And, mm -hmm. like, so we'd always know, oh, this character, this character, and this character is showing up next month, right? Yeah. Um, at some point, Beanox noticed that and decided to fuck with him. <laughs> they decided <laughs> to fuck with him. So they'd have one character uh, that would uh, be called something like the true protagonist or like like each month it would always change like crash isn't as important as i am like stupid shit like that and everyone in the community is like who is this character we don't know who it is well, who is this mystery character the final update I comes out it. the final update comes out uh they say hey if you want to unlock this character there is a hidden crate on every single track if you break it, yeah, if you break all of these crates, you'll unlock the super hidden secret character. You will never guess what the character is. Uh, is it the chicken? It is not the chicken, no. Is it the box? It is, is a it checkpoint crate. It is a goddamn yeah, checkpoint baby. crate. <laughs> it is a I, box. I love that. The massive troll on there as well. And, like, I, I just love the fact that, like, because it's a box, it's so easy to animate. You don't need to do shit. But they still gave it animations. You can see, like, the lid coming off and uh, off of it. Yeah, appreciate it. I, I really do appreciate that. <laughs> so, so, like, cool. does it, does it, like, do things as you're racing? Or? No, it's just, it's just there. <laughs> it's, it just <laughs> sits there. <laughs> Oh, that's, oh God. that's incredible. But yeah, I this, love that. This has been Crash Team Racing Nitro Refute. I fucking love this game. Even to this day, there is just so much like cool shit that was like released for this game over the years. Like we got fucking ring rallies, which helps you like learn all the cool like shortcuts and shit and how to maintain your speed over tracks. Uh, you still got like uh, you can do like the relic races, CTR challenges, crystal challenges, and shit on here. Like you have to so literally online. like a labor of love. Yeah, yeah. Like Beanox really did like, <laughs> for lack of better terms, they put the whole pussy into this. Um, <laughs> what? what the hell did he just say? I, I don't know why, but apparently that's a thing that kids say these days. But yeah, okay, like they... no, no, no. Look, I draw, I draw the line at the Zoomers. We don't do like <laughs> whatever the fuck kids say after that. Like skip the toilet or whatever. Nah, oh, nah, nah, nah. God. But yeah, like they really made like the best of a bad situation because like the game came out, it already had like a whole bunch of cool things that people really liked, and then we heard that um. Yeah, then we heard that, like, they're gonna add, like, more stuff as, like, the months go along. Oh, that's really cool. It wasn't until, like, the second season in that Activision's like, Alright, time to turn this into a live service. Let's put microtransactions in the game. Uh... Oh, but, like, the entire time, Beanox pretty much just, like, fought over that. It's like, okay, yeah, if we have to put microtransactions in the game, let's do it, whatever but we will fight you. So they have, they put in so much things in the game to like make it so that actually spending money in this game is not worth it. So like- well, I uh, mean, what sort of microtransactions are there? Just cosmetics? Uh, you can buy coins to buy the cosmetics. <laughs> Thanks, oh Activision. My <laughs> but yeah, like that's, that's nice. what I was saying when I uh, first started, I have half a million coins left over from just playing the game. You get so fucking much. 
Because, like, if we go to, like, challenges, it's like, hey, do, like, these things. You get, like, 25 coins, 75 coins, fucking 200 coins. Like, you could get so much. 100 like, I, trillion coins. I, I think a new character was, like, only 1,000 coins. So, like, it was cheap as shit, right? And, like, one update introduced a thing in, uh, in regular races where, like, occasionally you'll break a box and, like, a golden Wampa Fruit will fly around the track. Grab that, that's just a free 200 coins. Like, you did not have to spend a fucking cent on this. I I love this smug energy that this comes. <laughs> like, they just looked at the big guy, what? There's microtransactions, isn't that what you wanted? Yeah, that's what you wanted, that's right? <laughs> like, people are buying coins, right? No? Mm, oh, God. Gosh. But yeah, it is a massive shame that after, like, everything that happened, Activision's like, yeah, this isn't giving us enough money. Let's send you to the Call of Duty mines. Go work on that crap. Massive shame. God. But they they, they really went out of a bang. It's like, if this is the last thing they worked on, like this, this is some good shit. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Hell yeah. I'm still waiting for that PC release. One day. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us for Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. It has been... Fantastic. I fucking love this game. Oh, actually. I, I this keep was 30% racing, 70% lore. I, I, I keep I keep yapping because I keep remembering things. One last thing before I go. So I actually streamed this thing uh way back. I think this was like the second, maybe third game I actually streamed on this channel. Uh nice. The main point that I was actually doing was like I wanted to complete the entire adventure mode on the hardest difficulty in one sitting. Which I could do, I could do, uh, but I didn't end up actually doing that. I had to quit halfway through. Uh, the reason being is because halfway through that stream, I got a message from the guys over at Fringe Realities telling me, "Hey, congratulations! You've just been uh, you've been hired as the voice of Dave for Project Nightlight. Can we get you in to do some voices right now?" Things something like this would belong in a museum. They keep it here, studying and researching it in secret. No, oh, that's not right. Is that it? Where's the rest? Hey man, up when opportunity knocks, right? Exactly. So yeah, years later, for those of you who are wondering why I never finished that playthrough, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, closure. <laughs> you oh, can all night and I'll die happy. Oh god. Next week's stream would have been broken roads but i want to change it because i just got a message that a very important package just showed up at my front door while i was streaming oh. my riff master controller just came in so i can finally play guitar hero on stream oh my god i'm going oh, to do that no. over on my stream but can't really do that on the switch though there is one game that technically has guitar hero in it that i can play over on this stream. So, uh, next stream, I can't believe I'm fucking saying this. Bruno, I'm playing Fortnite next week. Is this what it feels like to, like, get old, feel old, then feel out of touch and, like, just try to hit kids with the hello, fellow kids? Ah, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Fortnite now has dad rock in it. We'll be fine. Okay, wait, <laughs> hold on. So, like, you can't play Fortnite entirely on a, on a Guitar Hero controller. Mm, no, it has a mode called Fortnite Festival, which is literally just Guitar Hero. Because the uh, because Epic Games absorbed Harmonics, the original team behind Guitar Hero, and forced them to make Guitar Hero for Fortnite. That that is the most horrifying sentence that I, I have know. Ever heard. It's terrifying. You know what else is more terrifying? The current uh, season added Metallica into Fortnite, like the entire band. Okay, get... <laughs> uh, uh, look, no, 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 look, look, I I'm going to go to bed in like two hours, you need to stop, or I'm going to have nightmares, we, we're done here. Come on, you don't <laughs> want to snipe, mentally prepare myself. you don't want to snipe kids on uh, uh, Tilted Towers as, as uh, James Hetfield, come on. Don't ever fucking talk to me like that again, I don't know what you just said, but don't insult me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the fuck did you just say about my mom? <laughs> Uh, oh, next, no. next week's stream's gonna be fucked. 